November the 14th, hundreds of thousands of Americans from many different regions rallied in Washington, D.C. in support of Donald Trump and called for an investigation into election fraud. The massive crowd marched from Liberty Square to the Supreme Court. Many participants stated that they were there to uphold the values of democracy and they cannot allow a candidate that cheated to lead the United States on the road to socialism. At the state capital of Georgia in Atlanta, a woman said her son was a soldier who lost his life in Iraq, and the flag she was holding was used to hang on her son's grave. She attended the Stop the Steal rally in Atlanta, not only to defend people's right to vote, but also to speak out for those soldiers who died for the country. Bled, gave their lives long before my son did for the ability and the right and the privilege to vote, because it is a privilege. and. It, if it's being if it's being abused or uh, uh, t done illegally, uh, the integrity of that vote loses its importance. And to me, that means my son's life didn't matter, and the other millions of people who fought for that right to vote, th their lives must not matter either. Trump supporters in Nevada also gathered in front of the state capitol to protest calling for a fair election. Many people said that they had never seen so many standing up to say no to election fraud before in the United States. It's time for us to stand up and say that we're not going to be pushed around, we're not going to let this false election go through, so we're here to stand for Nevada and stand for the United States. Californians gathered in the capital city, Sacramento, to protest against the election fraud and demand a full audit and manual ballot recount. If we can't trust an electoral, uh, like a, a voting process, if we can't trust that we have free and fair elections, then we can never move together as a community. Chinese immigrants told NTD TV that they feel they must participate in the rally no matter how much effort they need to put in. Because it's a battle against communism, every effort is worthwhile. We don't want American change to communist. If Biden will be the president, I'm so disappointed because I don't have, I don't think we have hope. In front of the plaza of the Massachusetts state capitol in Boston, there was a man from Texas. He said it had been 40 years since he immigrated to the United States from the Philippines. He realized that the election was a showdown between freedom and communism. We have to do our part as a patriot Americans because this might be our last chance. We might have come to a point of no return. And uh, I grew up in the Philippines and um, we have witnessed how the atrocities of authoritarian regime destroys the lives of many people. And uh, we cannot allow this beauty, beautiful country to be destroyed by the socialist regime. We're here to fight for justice. And we have to make all the votes counted because we cannot allow fraud to rule in the United States or there is no freedom. After the Biden campaign declared victory, various allegations of fraud were continuously exposed. Trump supporters launched Stop the Steal protests, calling on all people in the United States to protest alleged cheating in the election. I believe there's a fight for the future of this country and there's a battle going on for whether or not we're going to continue to prosper and move forward or whether we're going to go back the other direction into just some sort of uh, Marxist domination of, of your personal freedoms. You know, there needs to be a grassroots kind of revolution for this country to get back to where we were, to get back to the truth.